Hi, this is Ben with Snake on Stick Medical Videos. Today we're going to be talking about maternal screening tests in the first and second trimesters. Hope you enjoy. So to start us off with the maternal pregnancy tests or screening tests, you can think of actually breaking it up into the first and the second trimester, and they're both a little bit different, so we'll have to think about this. So when is the first trimester screening test typically done? It's actually done in the 11, about 11 to 14 weeks. Remember that the first trimester is around this range of you know 13 weeks, the first three months. Okay, and this is actually broken down into two steps. The first is called the combined test, which actually is on the maternal serum. And you're going to be looking for two things. You're going to be looking for free beta HCG. And you're also going to be looking for something called PAPPA, which is Pregnancy Associated Prote Plasma Protein A. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. And then you're also going to do an ultrasound to look for nuchal translucency. So you're measuring the nuchal translucency, which is the clear area at the back of an infant's neck. Okay, and then second trimester screening tests. This is a little bit more simple and straightforward because you're only testing the maternal serum, and this is actually at 15 to 18 weeks, so just a little bit after, but it gets quite different. And the quad screen kind of makes sense because you're actually going to be testing for four different things. Beta ACG, like we also with the first trimester, alpha fetoprotein, which you've probably heard about before, inhibit A, which is used as part of the feedback loop for the whole uh, hormone regulatory system, and an S-trial. So that's what the quad screen is. So when are you going to use these tests? You remember that these tests um, are testing for a few genetic abnormalities, specifically the triploides, Down, Edwards, and Pataus. And those are, um, those are typically thought of as occurring in older mothers greater than 35 years. This PAPPA, pregnancy-associated plasma, protein A. Okay. So let's look at the first trimester here. And then let's basically make a table and then break it down for both Patau, Edwards, and Downs. So remember we were measuring the free beta HCG and this PAPPA protein. And then I'm also going to add here the nuchal translucency, even though it's a different test, I'm going to still consider it in our table here. So let's draw a quick little table. And then remember the three things that we're really going to be testing for are 13, Patau syndrome, 18, Edward syndrome, and 21, or Down syndrome. So what does Patau look like? You're going to actually have a decrease in beta, free beta HCG, a decrease in PA, uh, PPA, and then you're going to have some nuclear translucency. Exact same thing for Edwards, but notice here that Down syndrome is a little bit different, so you're going to have an increase in beta HCG, which will actually carry over into the second trimester test as well. So a few common themes here are when aneuploidy is present, this PAPBA is always down. So also, nuchal translucency is always present, or typically present. So these are general markers for aneuploidy or some genetic abnormalities. In Down syndrome, you're also going to have something called a hypoplastic nasal bridge. And so you can see that when you're doing the ultrasound, and that's just something else to associate with Down syndrome here. But remember that Down syndrome has that opposite beta HCG. Remember that um, everything else will look the same, but that's one way you can tell. And then um, this is just a test on the maternal serum. And then you're also going to have an ultrasound, that nuchal translucency component. This is all happening around the 11 to 14 weeks. This is also another interesting point to tie back to generality, is that you have an increased nuchal translucency and actually Turner syndrome. So remember that. OK, now let's break down the second trimester screening methods. So remember we talked about this is just on the maternal blood. There's no ultrasound. There is an ultrasound, but um, basically there's not an ultrasound for nuchal translucency. We're going to be just basically focusing on this um, this quad screen here. So the quad screen, you're going to have alpha fetoprotein, beta HCG, S trial, and inhibin A. These are our four important markers, and that's why it's called a quad screen for four. So let's break this down for each of them and see how they're different. So let's look at Patau. So Patau actually the quad screen is not useful diagnostically, and so you're not going to use it. Um, and this is really only good for differentiating between like Edwards and Downs, actually, if you're trying to differentiate between the, the triploides. So you're going to have everything down in uh, Edwards. The inhibit A will be down to normal. And then in down, you're actually going to have an increased beta HCG and an increased inhibit A. So that's how you can tell the difference between the two. So remember, down always has this increased beta HCG for whatever reason. This is an interesting point, too, to note, is that you have an increased alpha fetoprotein when you have defects of the gut or the neural tube. A few defects of the gut would be gastrochesis or omphalocele. Um, so remember that. Okay, so let's summarize all these things and bring it back all together really quick. 
you have two stages of maternal testing. The first trimester, 11 to 14 weeks, and the second trimester, about 15 to 18 weeks. The first trimester will consider uh, have that combined and that nuchal translucency test, and the second trimester is having that quad screen. Remember this PPA alpha, this kind of weird protein, it's a general marker for aneuploidy, or an abnormal number of chromosomes, or triploidy. So remember that if you see that being down, think there's some maybe chromosomal abnormality. Remember these other kind of accessory points that you also see nuchal translucency and Turner syndrome, which is 45 XO. You're missing that other X chromosome. And you're also going to see increased alpha fetal protein in both neural tube defects and gut defects like omphalocele and gastrochesis. And then one last point, this is kind of just for your own edification. In 2015, there was a new test called this uh, maternity T21 that actually can test free cell DNA in the mother, and that can actually test for Down syndrome. It's somewhat controversial, just like all these tests are, because it has to do with the fact that you can find out about these genetic, genetic abnormalities in, the, in a child. Um, so yeah. And that's it for today. Hope you enjoy.